The Sinkov Astrophysical Institute is one of the oldest academic institutions in the Republic. Expedition of scientists from Moscow and Leningrad arrived in Alma-Ata in the very first months of World War II to oversee the total solar eclipse on September 21, 1941, marked the beginning of astrophysical research in Kazakhstan. A few days later, after the eclipse, academician Fisenkov sent a note to the Sovnarkom, the Kazakh SSR, in which has proved the feasibility of organizing a Kazakhstan Institute of Astronomy, Physics and Geophysics in Alma-Ata. The Sovnarkom degree of the Organization of the Institute of Astronomy and Physics at the Kazakh branch of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR and the appointment of Fisenkov Vasily by director of the Institute was published on October 10, 1941. Draft of the new observatory was ready in the second half of 1945. Decision of the federal government on the construction of the Kazakh observatory and allocation of the necessary funds was made in March 1946. Construction on the Kaminsky Plateau began in 1947. Vasily Fisinkov find understanding and support in the creation development of the Institute of Astronomy and Physics from Satpayev Kanish, outstanding scientist and organizer of science, the first president of the Academy of Sciences of the Kazakh SSR. Such outstanding scientists Gavril Tikhov, Nikolai Harjiski, Boris Vorotsov Vilyaminov, Sevolod Litvinov stood at sources of astronomy in Kazakhstan together with Sisenko and Satpayev. In 1950, the Institute of Astronomy and Physics was divided into Physical Technical Institute and directly Astrophysical Institute headed by Fisenkov. Today, Fisenkov Astrophysical Institute is a part of the National Center of Space Research and Technology of the National Space Agency of the Republic of Kazakhstan. The Institute's mission, development of astronomical fundamental and applied research for the formation of scientific base for space industry of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Four basic scientific directions are implemented successfully at the Institute. Study the evolution of galaxies and their accumulations on the background of dark matter. Study of astrophysical thermonuclear processes on the Sun, stars and in the primordial nucleosynthesis of the universe. Investigation of physical processes in the star-forming regions and circumnuclear areas of active galaxies. Study of the physical properties of selected objects of the solar system. The Institute develops three projects in the field of applied research. Development of methods for astrophysical research in the ultraviolet range based on orbital telescopes. Development of methods and algorithms for searching and tracking of small artificial objects in the geostationary orbit. Development of methods and techniques of research early spectral classes stars with infrared excesses. The structure of the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute. Department of Perspective Astrophysical Investigations including the sector of extra-atmospheric ultraviolet research the sector of observations of artificial Earth satellites and information systems. The servicing sector of astronomical complexes. Laboratory of Physics of Stars and Nebulae. Laboratory of Cosmology, Stellar Dynamics and Computational Astrophysics. The laboratory also includes the sector of Nuclear Astrophysics. Laboratory of Physics of the Moon and Planets. Laboratory of Active Processes in Space. Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute and its observatory are in a unique geographical position. Observational bases of the Institute are in the northern Tianshan, in places with good astroclimate, filling longitudinal space between the observatories in Europe and Asia. Observatory for Astrophysical Investigations on the Kaminsky Plateau is the first observatory of the Institute which located at an altitude of 1,450 meters above sea level. Comet, later received the name churimov gerasimenko Comet, was opened in 1969 at the observatory of the Meniscus Telescope of the Maksutov system. Tianshan Astronomical Observatory and Coronal Station are located at a distance of 30 kilometers south of Almaty at an altitude of about 2,735 meters above sea level. 
Good astroclimatic conditions and relative closeness to the city make the observatory by convenient observatorial base for most astronomical research. The presence of two automated 1 meter Carl Zeiss telescopes and communication via the internet allowed to participate in various international projects. Photometric studies of variable stars in the Milky Way, eclipsing systems with a moving line of apses, eclipsing stars with pulsating component are conducted in one meter telescope. The programs on extrasolar planets and white dwarfs are implemented. A C. Purgyan Observatory is located 85 kilometers away to the east of the city of Almaty, at an altitude of 2,750 meters above sea level, has an almost perfect astroclimate, high transparency of the atmosphere, the lack of exposure, and very little turbulence. Studies of young stars, the Herbig class, symbiotic objects and binary systems with X-ray components are conducted in one meter telescope of observatory. Work on the commissioning of the one and a half meter telescope are conducted at the observatory. Over the years, the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute achieved significant results, recognized by the international scientific community. In 50 years, much attention has been paid to the study of the physics of stars, nebulae and galaxies. Research in solar physics were initiated. Atlas of gas and dust nebulae was established through a large number of images of objects obtained at the Institute. The assumption that the dense fibers and nebulae may disintegrate into separate clumps of matter from which, under favorable conditions, the stars are formed, was confirmed by the discovery of the star chains and the nebula in the Cygnus constellation in the 60s. Photometric Catalog of Reflection Nebula was published in the 60s. The analysis of catalog revealed the existence not only physical, but also in many cases, a genetic connection between the nuclei of nebula and diffuse clouds. Spectral observations of more than 150 emission nebula have allowed to find and study in detail the 20 new compact hydrogen areas. By the end of the 60s, the energy distribution in the spectra of several tens of stars already been studied at the Institute. Work on the creation of the star catalog demanded 20-somethings effort. As a result, in 1978 was published the catalog containing the data on the energy distribution in the spectra of 1,159 stars. The specified spectrophotometric catalog is one of the most extensive in the world of astronomical literature. In the 70s, the fast spectrograph of original design was constructed in the Astrophysical Institute. 416 Markarian galaxies, namely 28% of the total number of these objects have been investigated for the first time at the Institute due to the new fast spectrograph. The radial velocities of the majority of objects were measured as a result of this work and 42 new safer galaxies were discovered. In 1957 the Institute became part of a network of stations optical observations by artificial Earth satellites designed to monitor the near-Earth space. In 1971, V.S. Matyagin, with employees, was awarded the USSR State Prize for the development of hardware, software, and carrying out of high-precision observations of artificial Earth satellites. For several years, observations of distant space objects launched toward the Moon, Mars, and Venus were conducted. Based on the results of observations in 1991 to 1996, the database was created and catalog of geostationary satellites which includes information on 259 objects, was published. From 1991 to 1999's observations, the second issue of the catalog, including information about 670 geostationary satellites, was prepared and published. In the 80s, the study of non-stationary stars in the early stages of evolution associated with gas dust complex made possible by commissioning of the Asi Turgen Observatory. Large observational data on photometric and polarmetric data for stars like the Tau Taurus Herbig Haro objects was obtained. The analysis of observational data allowed to find the criteria for identification of individual stages in the evolution of young stars for their inception. 1986, the comet which received the name of discoverers, Churyumov Soldovnikov Comet, was discovered on the coronal stations. Both researchers received the Medal of the Astronomical Council of the USSR for the discovery of this comet. 
In the 80 years, the theory of quasi-stellar objects with broad absorption lines of absorption established in the Fissinkov Astrophysical Institute allowed for the first time to get a physical interpretation of the so-called line-locking effect in the spectra of some quasars previously studied only empirically abroad. The inevitability of the formation of massive black holes in the centers of galaxies has been shown. Questions of the dissipative capture of stars by central active object were studied theoretical models of active nuclei in view of gas dynamics. The spectral properties of these objects have been developed. A new approach to single theory of the activity of galactic nuclei based on the theory of interacting subsystems was developed simultaneously. In the late 90s, the mechanism of catastrophic thermal degradation was proposed at the Institute. On the basis of analytical solutions of the equation of thermal diffusion has been shown that the internal thermal stresses can exceed the limits of the strength of ice still on the distant approaches to the planetary system, up to 40 and 50 astronomical units, when approaching of ice cometary nuclei to the Sun on a parabolic orbit. Theoretical achievements of the Institute are significant. A number of its employees have contributed greatly to the development of different fields of science of the universe. Vasily Fisenkov, the founder of the Institute, is rightfully one of the largest modern astrophysicists. Gabriel Tikhov is the founder of Astrobotany. Formulation of the problem of cosmological reasons, the origin of life on Earth, and the extension of the anthropic principle belongs to Grigory Idlis. Tupkin Omarov, exploring the non-stationary problems of stellar dynamics, introduced for the first time the new fundamental characteristics of the orbit, now known as Omarov Haji Dimitru elements. Pressure dominance principle in cosmology, which gave a new impetus to research the evolution of the universe, the dynamics of its large-scale structures, and properties of electromagnetic radiation in the cosmological scales, has been proposed in the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute. The last 15 years, activities of the Institute has also been marked by serious scientific achievements. A unified model for the calculation of the absorption spectra of active galactic nuclei has been developed. Studies of active galactic nuclei held at the Institute received wide international recognition, which has resulted in collaboration with foreign scientists in various international projects with colleagues from the Institute of Astronomy of Cambridge University, UK, Cornell University, USA, Sternberg Astronomical Institute, Russia, Meudon Observatory, France, Astronomical Center of Heidelberg University, Germany, Regular spectral and photometric observations of 40 safer galaxies are held during the 40 years in the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute. Based on these observations, using the developed methodology, the orbits of several emission objects in safer galaxies NGC 41.51 and Araclion 120 was calculated with simultaneous well defining the mass of the central body in these galaxies. Database of the basic physical parameters of non-stationary young stars, which allowed to allocate the underlying mechanisms of variability for them, created more than 30 years at the Institute. About 80 young planetary nebula were also investigated. Spectra for 12 of them were for the first time obtained, which were able to determine their physical parameters and evolutionary status. A new stage in the evolution of the stellar wind, a temporary interruption of the process of gas flowing in the object, MWC 560 was discovered. Result was obtained from studies of the unique object, a binary system, giant star and a white dwarf with an accretion disk. This phenomenon was first noted at the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute. Study of the largest planet of the solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, are conducted in the laboratory of physics of the moon and planets for many years. Other celestial bodies, satellites of the planets, comets are also studied. The laboratory regularly participates in international programs, including on the ground astrophysical support of space missions to the giant planets. Conducted at the Institute, the spectroscopic observations allow to study the atmospheres of planets both in the continuous spectrum and the molecular absorption bands, allowing to probe the cloud layers of the atmosphere, monitor the meteorological processes occurring on the giant planets, seasonal and climatic changes. Effective method for preliminary identification of the orbits and types of the observed objects 
based on the algorithm for determining the initial orbits, theory of their evolution under the influence of gravitational factors, and the optical characteristics of the observed cosmic objects has been developed at the Institute. A modern level of basic research conducted at the Fisinkov Astrophysical Institute is confirmed by getting the various international grants and publications in prestigious international journals. Further development of astrophysical research at the Institute is associated with the development of space activities in the Republic of Kazakhstan. One of the main problems facing the Institute at the present stage is to integrate into the global scientific, technical and innovative process. The first step in this direction is the formation of modern information and technological basis of astronomical research through the participation of the Republic of Kazakhstan in the international project World Space Observatory Ultraviolet. The ground segment is an important component of space exploration. In order to form the powerful foundation of national astronomy, it is planned to carry out not only modernize of its experimental complex, but equipping by more modern optical devices, primarily by optical telescopes with a diameter of primary mirrors of 3.6 meters. Huge scientific and human potential of the Institute, along with modern observational base and unique geographical locations, allows to solve serious problems in the field of fundamental and applied astrophysical research.